when they do have a problem, I have the film already prepared. Let me show you why you're 90. Let me show you why you're 89 or 88. And I use, you know, even a PowerPoint presentation for anybody that has a problem with their ratings. I will show you why where you are. And the good thing about it is you have every week to improve that rating week to week. So there should be no issues because everything is in your hands. So, Ocho, you talked about personal preference. You talked about Devontae Adams being a 99, which I all, all would agree that's the correct rating. But a lot would agree <laughs> it might be because of Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers may or may not be back in Green Bay. What's your take on what's going on in Green Bay and also how will that affect Devontae Adams' rating? This is the thing about special players and the top-tier receivers in the NFL. The top-tier receivers in the NFL, you're, De you're Devontae Adams, you're Julio Jones, you're Tyreek Hills, you're Keenan Allen. So these individuals could play on any of the 32 teams and still be productive regardless to where they go, regardless of the quarterback carousel. DeAndre Hopkins proved that. When he was when he was when he was with Houston, so those individuals can play without the top tier quarterback. But having a, a quarterback, especially as Aaron Rodgers, does help. But the skill set of, of these receivers are what they are, regardless of who's at the helm at quarterback. As far as Aaron Rodgers goes, I talked to him, and he told me not to relinquish any of the information on what he plans to do. <laughs> so I can't give that I can't give that out. <laughs> oh, that, that, that's unfortunate that you can't share that conversation with us because I'm sure you got all the info. Uh, then let's talk about you, Chad, because mm -hmm. your boxing debut. Tell me about right. this, right, against Brian Maxwell. I want the whole deal, why you right. decided to do it, what it was like for you. Can we see more of it? <clears throat> um, first off, thank, thank you to Floyd May Mayweather, who obviously during my tenure playing in the NFL, I used boxing as a way to prepare for every football season, for the cardio reasons and for the footwork reasons. And obviously Floyd understanding that I could box and I would be able to protect myself if need be. And I told Floyd, if I'm going to do this, I don't want a celebrity. Give me someone that fights for a living, being that I have no amateur experience. The only experience I do have with fighting is in the street growing up when I had a problem with somebody privately. Um, I enjoyed it. And there's a, there's a saying called, you can't play boxing. So therefore, I was kind of upset that Floyd only gave me four weeks of adequate time to prepare for the fight. But based on what I was able to display, I think it was OK for such short notice. And I'd like to thank the Charlo twins. I'm sure you all are watching. Thank you for beating me up for three weeks straight <laughs> while you guys were in camp. And I think that was one of the reasons I was able to survive outside of getting knocked down, you know, in the fourth round when I gassed out due to me being tired and not having my hands up. Well, number one, you look like you can still play in the National Football League, so that's number one. Number two, what did you learn about yourself, Chad, getting into boxing? Because we talked about before you came on the air how it's a great exercise mm -hmm. and it's great for cardio in your mind. But what did you really learn about doing that whole thing, doing a different discipline mm -hmm. when it comes to a different sport? I think the only reason I was able to do it is the fact that that, that hunger and that drive to compete at something is still there. Um, boxing is a sport that you can't play. You can't go in there messing around trying to look cute. Um, I was out of my element. I was scared. I have a huge amount of respect for combat sports, especially the science that is boxing. And a huge shout out to Brian Maxwell, who gave me the opportunity. For one, I, I don't think people understand how difficult those rounds are, you know, with someone applying pressure or having to dodge punches and, and just understanding the science that comes with boxing. You think you just get in there and you throw punches, but it's very strategic. And uh, I look forward to doing it again, hopefully before Christmas gets here against uh, someone else that has either amateur experience or pro experience. Or even, you know what, I just, I might just, I don't, I don't know. I want to fight someone that is, is, is really, really polished at it. It would force me to be at the top of my game that much more. So, Osho, I got, I got a different one for you. So, you're, you're known for your celebrations. Talk about the river dance mm -hmm. and the CPR, right? I used to love watching you celebrate. Is there a celebration that you didn't get a chance to do? What, what would that one celebration that you've been, you practiced, you had in your mind, but you didn't get a chance to do? Which one was that one? Yeah, I, I talked about this not long ago. Um, remember, I'm sure everybody, remember the Staples commercial and the easy button from the Staples commercial? Yeah. Yes, yeah. I had, we were playing the Kansas City Chiefs, maybe it was 05 or maybe it was 06, and I put the, the easy button under the north and south end zone goalpost underneath before the game started in pregame warm-up. And I was hoping to score that game and grab the easy button and run the car and have him hit it. Obviously, you know, you hit the button and says that was easy. And I think that would have been a really good one 
And being that I wasn't able to do it, any NFL players watching this today, this is the great opportunity to make you some money. So you could take this one and use it. And um, trust me, trust me, I'm here. <laughs> That's creative. That, that is a creative one. I'm impressed with that. Let's stay with football for one more second. I want to ask you, do you ever look now and seeing Cincinnati and Joe Burrow and wish you were still playing mm. with them, having him as your quarterback? But actually, you know what? My quarterback that I did have in Carson Palmer was was really good. He was really good. I think what we did was was very magical. Um, you know, we had our ups and downs during that time, and I, I like what I'm. I like being a fan of the game now. I love Joe. I love what Joe's been able to to show. You know, being a rookie last year and being so poised uh, under the circumstances that he had to deal with. T. Higgins, man, doing that 85 justice, man. T. I love you. I know you're watching, and I'm excited for for Chase. Chase has this aura. He has this just it's it about him that you can't you can't teach you can't coach he just got it so I'm really excited man uh Alden Tate Tyler Boyd man all, all those dudes man I really look I really look forward to see what the Bengals do this year who's your winner in the AFC North this year oh Bengals most definitely it's not it's not even not even not even close okay not even is close. that a hard listen, pick or is that a listen, head pick listen, Chad Johnson listen, this, is, this, is, this is a common sense pick based on what Zach Taylor's been able to do with this team thus far Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.